QD printer is able to have two different substrates. It'll come with two paper roll assemblies. I just want to show with this one where we can have the paper in the bottom position. It has an idler roller up at the top, so you can have a roll on the top in the upper position or a roll in the bottom position of any substrate that you want to use. Okay, now we're going to reset the paper clamp into the proper position and roll it forward and that locks the paper down. We're going to start off with the screen, touching both buttons at the same time. Then we can go into different modes. So we can go to the UV lamp, hit select. We want to make sure that it is on. So now we hit select, it's on. Now we can come back and we're going to set an additional setting. We're going to set a setup for a cycle. So now we're going to select it. We're going to increase the number of cycles. We're going to set it at three. We're going to hit select. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to change, we're going to show that you can adjust the speed. So during the speed setup, we can set it in inches per minute or in what it's set up right now. And I'm going to show that you can increase the speed all the way up to 1800 inches a minute or we can decrease the speed all the way down to 60 inches a minute. Now for the demonstration we're going to take it back to 600 inches a minute now the other thing we're going to do is just show that you can also change the units so in changing the units what we can do is that we can go to unit set, select the units, it's in inches per minute now, now we can also take and change that to meters per minute or feet per minute. So we're going to select feet per minute. So now it's set at 50 feet per minute. There is a two second delay when we push it down, the lamp warms up for two seconds, then it travels down have a ramp set up so we lift up and off of the lamp assembly and does not draw down so that the lamp cures all this draw down. If additional curing is needed it is possible to use the cycle mode and we already set the cycle mode up earlier in this video and now we're going to hold this down and you'll get a clicking sound. Now you can see it's set up to go three. going to move the paper clamp to the upper position. So now we can draw out the paper. Cut it off. Now we're ready for our next drawdown.